for the frontal bone, we're going to start off with our frontal sinus. This is going to be a space within the frontal bone. It's actually a chamber. Okay. Then we have our lacrimal fossa. That is going to be a depression on the superior lateral inside of our eye socket, right where our lacrimal gland will sit. So then we have our supraorbital margin. That's going to be this ridge right above our eye socket. I think I like to think of it as the eyebrow ridge. Okay. Then we have our supraorbital foramen or notch. Okay, on this, on this model in particular, it is a notch. Everybody's a little anatomically different. So that's our super orbital foreman or notch. Okay, jump to our parietal bones. All we need to know is that we have two of them on the left and right sides at the top of our skull. Those are our two parietal bones. And if we go back to our occipital bone, we have a few structures to go over. We have our external occipital protuberance and our external occipital crest leading down to this big hole. So external occipital protuberance, that big bump, and this crest leading down to the hole is our external occipital crest. If we look on the inside of the skull, we have the same thing, just internal. We have our internal occipital protuberance and our internal occipital crest leading down to that big hole again, okay? If we go back to the outside, these two bumps surrounding that big hole are our occipital condyles. Those connect to our first sort of cervical vertebrae. That big hole that I've been talking about is our foramen magnum. Okay, that allows our brain stem to connect to our spinal cord, go down to our vertebrae. Then we have our jugular foramen, it's gonna be these really jagged holes, just anterior to that foramen magnum. So if we look from the internal side, we can see them just anterior again to that foramen magnum. Okay, those are our jugular foramen. And if you look on the bottom again, going through those occipital condyles, we have our hypoglossal canal. There we go. That's our hypoglossal canal going through the occipital condyles. All right.